you have any messages for Donald Trump today? Michael Cohen returns to the stand this morning at former President Trump's hush money trial after telling the jury yesterday how he silenced women who claimed to have had sexual encounters with Trump. It has to be a game changer for both sides because he's the one who really lays out the elements or he's trying to lay out the elements um, to, that the prosecutor needs to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. Trump is charged with falsifying business records linked to a $130,000 payment to porn actress Stormy Daniels. Prosecutors say the payment, made days before the 2016 election, was to prevent voters from hearing Daniels' story about their alleged affair, which Trump denies. It got no evidence. And... I'm On the stand yesterday, Cohen testified about a scheme with National Enquirer publisher David Pecker, who agreed to publish positive stories about Trump and stop negative ones from coming out, telling the jury that as the 2016 campaign got underway, Trump warned him, be prepared. There's going to be a lot of women coming forward. Cohen testified that when he learned that Stormy Daniels was trying to sell her story, he felt it would be catastrophic for the campaign, saying Trump agreed. He said to me, this is a disaster, a total disaster. Women will hate me. Guys may think it's cool, but this is going to be a disaster for the campaign. Cohen says Trump ordered him to make sure the story didn't get out, testifying Trump wanted to kill the story because of how it would affect his campaign, not his family, as the defense has argued. Cohen said he wired the $130,000 to Daniels. Cohen fronted the money. He said he fully expected to be paid back, and he took out a home equity line of credit, he said, so his own wife wouldn't find out. He told the jury she would not understand if $130,000 went missing from their joint bank account. Prosecutors say Trump did reimburse Cohen and illegally falsified business records to cover it all up by making it look like a legal expense. Experts say the ultimate test for Cohen will be during the defense's cross-examination. Cohen has spent time in prison for lying to Congress and has admitted to lying on Trump's behalf. He's basically lying for money, right? That's his boss. So the way you were willing to lie for him when you were getting a paycheck, well, now the hatred that you have, you're willing to lie against him again here today. That's the kind of spin you got to put on. Cohen today is expected to be questioned about those financial documents at the heart of the case before he's cross-examined.